Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm Corey Ballard and I'm back to finish this part two of this video. I just finished uploading. I had to upload part one. My phone is too full. Had to put up part one, upload it. Took a very um, lengthy process to put it up. Um, had me second guessing whether I was going to continue <laughs> because um, this is a very detailed little story. So go ahead, if you haven't watched the first video, go ahead and watch the first video in this story time rant vlog. I'm not sure what I'm calling it yet. Go ahead and watch it first and then come back. Um, you can subscribe to my channel. I have a whole bunch of videos. This video is because I'm celebrating 250 videos on my channel. So go and check out the other ones. I'm drinking water. And, um, yeah, like the video, share the video on other platforms, and visit my core, my blog, coreysong.blogspot.com. So, um, like I was saying on the other video, I started blogging. Um, I started my blog, Corey Song, um, back when I was in college. It was a way for me, it was an outlet for me to do a little writing, explore my passions for music, and um, that's what it initially began as. Um, I wanted to write on there. It was a way for, just for me to introduce myself, like kind of dip my toe in the water. I was a bit nervous, because um, I felt like I had been beat down my whole life. Um, into a creative stalemate pretty much and uh, I was not confident in my abilities at that time so <clears throat> I felt like this could be a gateway into me um, just putting a little bit some something out there because I didn't really write a lot on there it was mostly me sharing um, videos um, old videos that in history because I enjoy music history and then also the, the the latest releases that were coming out during that time and what I wanted to do was um, um, just do a little bit it, a part of it was that like I had said I was in that beat down mode um, state of mind and I was just trying to see if you know if I was really capable of was I a writer or was I foolish or whatever I wanted to share that and also because I was very um, it was a lot going on during that time I was very um, busy I was very immature I didn't know how to schedule I didn't know how to um, manage things not to say that I know how to do that now but <laughs> I really didn't know how to do it then <laughs> so I just did a little writing on there, just a little bit, um, every now and then, but I tried to keep it updated regularly because that's how they said you would build an audience, and they said you could get paid off of it. I never got paid off of it, not too much to where I could, I thought that I might be able to get paid off of it, but I, did, I realized later that how much traffic that you would have to receive to get paid off of it, and I wasn't um, like I said, writing heavily on there to where I could, um, start getting kind of like, um, um, monetary gains from that. Um, maybe I could have if I wrote more on there, but like I said, during that time, I was afraid during that time and I wasn't managing my time that during that time. And I was focused on okay I'm going to get this degree so that's what I was focused on and I was trying to balance everything to where um, you know I could succeed in college because um, I had taken out loans and all this stuff oh um I wanted to say this before I had um started this I think her name is Lacey Young she inspired me to do this video she had a video I'm broke AF 
And, <laughs> you know, I got to thinking about um, my life and how I could relate to that. And I wanted to do a video about that, like <laughs> being broke. But I felt like this video should come first. I just, I, like I've been saying, I've been hesitating to do this video for several weeks. I've been trying to think of, you know, how am I going to say the things that I'm going to say in this video. Because this is the first time that I'm are actually articulating this to anyone. I'm speaking on the camera, but you know, I haven't really articulated to this because I kept all of this inside of me. So it's like I'm discovering what to say as I'm going along. Um, I didn't plan it out the best way that I, because I was, it was just so, um, it just felt like it was monstrous, you know, it was like, um, it was a big thing to do to like, really express all of the, these things you know so <laughs> I was dreading it so it's like I'm discovering what to say and realizing what happened during that time and articulating it and it's coming out difficult because I haven't done it before so um yeah but yeah she inspired me to do this video with, with her video I think her name was Lacey Young I meant to I had looked it up before I start when I was putting up my other video um, and I wanted to say her name on here I probably will put it in the I think it was some type of way that I could like put it in the description or something um, about the video that um, like a what is it called like a um, what they used to do a response video um, but you could tag her in it too I think her name is Lacey Young and um, the video was I'm broke AF and uh, <laughs> it inspired me to do this video so yeah 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 I was focused on oh somebody's up okay I was focusing on um, the degree so and I was afraid to write during that time and then also I was so um, unorganized during that time so it was very difficult to do different extra things besides get the like focus on the degree so um i was learning how to adult during that time i had I suffered um lots of um deaths during that during my college career i had um was learning how to adult i was doing various different jobs and things like that. I had moved um, out of my home state and I was navigating all of those different things. Sadness and depression and um, lifting myself out of um, poverty really and um, degradation. Still doing that now but you know um, I was completely new to this and it, I was just a young adult and um, who came from um, poverty and things like that and um, trying to navigate all of that different stuff. So <laughs> um, so everybody was telling me that this, this degree was going to end all of that. So I was focused on that during that time. And that caused me not to um, write as much as I would like to. But I wrote a little bit and that was a release for me and I was glad to to be able to have that and um, I started reading all these different things I was trying to make money I was trying to figure out the ways to make money but you know I had to write more um, but I wasn't able to so I was trying to find all these other different ways around writing more so I was just like you know I'm gonna put a whole bunch of stuff up so I was putting up all these old videos and just putting little brief snippets of words or whatever on them and trying to share it. I was getting on different social media. People would tell me, oh, you could use Twitter and all this stuff. I was reading them. I was um, watching different people on YouTube and I had discovered Roberto Blake and he was showing you how to like build your online brand and your online following and stuff like that. So I was like trying to utilize Twitter and sharing everything on Twitter and getting on Twitter all the time and 
trying to share my blog post. So people were actually seeing it. So that was cool. Um, and then I said, um, so if I can't write, um, uh, well, they were teaching me how to, um, the different people that I was looking at, they were teaching me how to utilize YouTube to um, gain an audience. So I was thinking, what can I do that's fast, that doesn't require a lot of my time, because I don't have any time, um, but can still um, like keep me out there um, in the public eye in some type of way. So I started a YouTube channel, um, which was connected to my blogger, and so it was that was great as well, because um, it was Google Plus and all that. You could add them all together and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Now I can put everything together. Um, so I just started doing uh, putting up mixtapes um, on my. I would um, edit the video with a little picture and put the the mixtapes up. I said. This is a way that I could, um, people will come listen to these mixtapes on my channel and they'll keep coming back because they want to keep listening to you. You don't just listen to music one time, you know, so they'll probably, um, come back repeatedly. So I just started putting up a whole bunch of mixtapes. I think I put up like 60 mixtapes. Um, and so they were doing very well and my channel reached over a million views. And um, during that time, and I was just having my little blog up, you know, still going to college, still trying to figure out a way uh, so then um. What happened then? Oh, Big Shun. Big Shun, he came, who is, um, if you, I don't know if any of you, um, my podcast, listen to my podcast that I did, It'll Make Sense podcast, um, that I did a couple of years ago. It's up on my channel. Go ahead and look at those. It's in a playlist, all of the episodes that we've had so far. We've been on hiatus. He's, um, my co-host on there. He came into town where I was at. Um, I started drawing a little bit during that time, um, you know, just while I had a little bit of free time and it was very, um, relaxing and it felt great to do, um, cause I enjoy drawing. Um, but that's all I was doing. I drew a couple of different little drawings or whatever. Um, I had my blog which well, I wasn't writing that heavily. And then I had my YouTube channel, which I was putting up other people's content. And it was, that was all I was doing. And then I started putting my little drawings on, well, well, let me stop. Big Shun came. So I was just doing that and I was really focused on college and I had um, different jobs. And so I was focused on that. He realized, he didn't realize, realized before that I could sing or whatever so um, I actually sang one time and he realized I could sing he wanted to be a rapper and so he would try to start getting me into the studio and or or like he wanted to start trying to make me like pursue music and stuff like that um but I wasn't really interested during that time like I was interested in the back and deep down in my heart you know but you know, I guess I also like mentally didn't, I was blocked. I didn't believe that it was something that I could achieve at that time. It's like, I'm just going to focus on college and, you know, it's occupying all my time. And so I can't do anything creative really. But he was just so, um, he, um, passionate about um, the things that he was doing to further his music career and I was helping him you know he had he didn't have um, means of transportation he had just moved into town 
and I was like taking him to the studio and stuff like that and he was talking uh, non-stop about like creating music and stuff like that so I kind of got like it kind of like reignited my flame to do more things that were creative in some sort of way I still didn't have any time or <laughs> But, you know, I was like, I could do something more, you know. <laughs> there's, there's some way I can rearrange my time so that I could do something more um, with what I have. So, so, um, you know, I was like, I have this YouTube channel and I have these drawings that I started. And I have this blog. Okay, what can I do to further my creativity output and put into the public eye and all this stuff? So I was like, okay, I have this blog so I can take my drawings and I can put them on the blog. So I started doing that. I could put them on my social media. So I started doing that. Um, then I started drawing some more. I was like, I could draw. I was like, I can sing a little bit, but I didn't, wasn't confident in my singing because I, you know, I wasn't um, practicing any singing. I'd never been trained to sing, and you know, uh, you know, I, I feel like I have a gift to sing, but I, I didn't feel like I was very trained and ready to to put myself out there as a singer <laughs> during that time. I was like, I was more comfortable with drawing, even though I still didn't have any practice in that as well because I had been stifled um, <laughs> so I stopped practicing all my utilizing all my gifts so I was like um, well I can just put this stuff up on my blog because not that many people look at my blog um, so well if well people do look at it because I do share it but I don't have to share it and if I don't share it, then people don't look at it that much. But I can share it. I have the option. I could have. It's like I can put it up, but it can go unseen in that way. So I'm still putting it up, even though um, a lot of people aren't seeing it. Um, but it's still out there. So I could try to do that. I started putting the drawings up. And then I said, okay, well, I only did a few drawings. I could do more drawings. I started drawing. Um, I was, um, like when I had, um, just, a, a little time after I had done all the things that I do or whatever, my work, my homework, my studies or whatever, and I would draw something, I would put it up, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna help Big Shun, I'm gonna help him do his, um, rapping, and I'm gonna promote, I'm gonna promote him. Cause he wanted me to, he wanted me to help promote him. He wanted me to like manage him. He felt like I was more organized than he was or whatever. <laughs> Cause I had, um, you know, been in college and stuff. So I, you know, I could stick to a schedule somewhat. So <laughs> he felt like I could manage him, but I didn't feel like I could do that. But I was like, I can help him. Um, Cause I, or I, and I had the YouTube channel, which had, you know, I had sur made it surpass a million views by um, using certain tactics to to um, get the maximum viewership or whatever. Like, <laughs> um, so I was like, how can I help him? Um, and how can I help myself as well? We had to, um, like, um, develop a strategy to... Um, promote ourselves so I said what can I do well my friend that I worked with in college told me about podcasting so which I had never heard of a podcast or whatever I was like I start so I started researching podcasts I started listening to the podcast and I was like well, we could do a podcast I could do a podcast I started learning how to create a podcast I was like we can do a podcast we could, um, and it could be about anything, and we could share it on my YouTube channel, and we could, on my blog as well, and 
we could promote the things that we want to do. So I set out to start the blog. And now my video is about too long again. So I guess I'm going to have to start another video. I think people are making noise outside my window. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm going to have to do another video. So I didn't know this video was going to be so long. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Um, comment on the video. Share the video on other platforms. And visit my blog, CoreySong.blogspot.com. And I'll be back later um, celebrating 250 videos on YouTube. I made it. I made it. I made it. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'm struggling with looking at this point or looking right at myself in the camera. So <laughs> I keep going back and forth. All right, bye. Do, 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 do.